we've we've posted this on social media, but we're both three years sober, and that's something we did. Congratulations! Together. And thank you. We we never fight ever. We've been together mm. forever, multiple lifetimes, and we the only time that her and I would fight, argue, bicker, punch with, things was with alcohol. There you go. Do you remember that? Having to go get his hand wrapped up. Oh yeah. Oh, we were on tour. Were we yeah. on tour? During tour. Yeah. Punched a wall, broke my hand. <laughs> I don't think that we've ever actually told that story. Yeah, but the whole, I don't even remember that. Oh, yeah, I had to have. I think I had to either like go out and get you yeah. or DJ that night because yeah. we were fighting so bad. Not like so bad, like I don't I don't remember actually fighting bad. I fought the wall. Uh, 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 yeah. No, I broke my You were like mad at me because I wanted to spend time with you and you had to edit the vlog and I was like you do this every single night. Vlog is life. Yeah. Get away and you from were me, intoxicated. Girl. Yeah, al- yeah, always. We'd do our show. We'd have champagne. Mm-hmm. We'd, but for Brittany and I, alcohol was what's something we can remove out of that life, out mm-hmm. of our life that's affecting our career, affecting our family, mm-hmm. our home, our relationship. That was our alcohol. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, we both cut that out of our lives. Not that we didn't have an amazing relationship already, but it's just gotten so much better. Mm-hmm. And if one person in that relationship drinks, the other one doesn't, mm-hmm. it's, it's, alcohol is chaos. Chaos. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm also older. I'm not, I'm not 20 anymore, dude. I'm not in my 20s. Three things to that point. <laughs> <laughs> I have like three things to say. One, when I look back at anything that was bad in my life, alcohol was always associated with it. Mm-hmm. So I got punched when I was in a fraternity, which got me to move back home from San Jose State and then start Fousey Tube. I was blacked out drunk when I got punched. Reality show, blacked out drunk. So it's like it's always alcohol. alcohol. Um, two, I forgot what two was. From the alcohol. Um, but uh, from the alcohol, <laughs> a residual brain loss that's still impeding into my life. Um but three, so my ex-girlfriend, um, even though I'm sober now, she was, she still drank and I'm not going to impose my lifestyle onto her. Right. But one thing that I did notice is when she started hanging out with me, by default, she just wasn't drinking and she wasn't going out. And then I wanted to make sure she was, because I, I told her, you know, you're allowed to drink. And I, because I, I, I talked to my mentor who uh, his you know, I don't know how to talk about his wife and his situation, but he said, yeah, you are allowed to have a partner that drinks as long as they understand your boundaries. But one thing I noticed is, so she, we, she wouldn't drink, she wouldn't go to the club, she wouldn't party. But then when we broke up or if there was a break or anything, she would. So it's like, are you only not doing that stuff thinking you have to do that with me or are you actually adapting or adopting that into your own lifestyle, which was interesting. So to hear that you guys both made that commitment for yourselves and it just works that's beautiful for us it was only going to work doing it together